Wake Forest, minus three and a half, total of 66 and a half at Duke. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the ACC Network. And this one is an interesting, interesting game. Um, Wake Forest, obviously, not what everybody thought at the beginning of the season. Uh, they put up some huge numbers on Clemson, and they got they got NFL wide receivers, etc. But man, they were they have just not looked good here lately, right? They did get a win, kind of got things back on track against Syracuse last week, but it's still, there's there's some questions to me about this football team. Uh, we'll show you here on the screen, of course, looking at the stats over the last five weeks. I've got uh, Wake Forest favored by half a point, and yet this line is three and a half. I think you already know which direction I'm going. I like what Duke is doing on both offense and defense. The defense is not great, um, and yet they're still able to uh, get get a lot of stops, right? Uh, the biggest thing for Duke's defense here is they're number 24 in standard downs PPA. Uh, they're number 20, uh, 44 in standard down success rate. So they are able to get teams into, uh, you know, passing down situations, right? Second and long, third and long, etc. Well, they're not great at, at stopping that. But they do find a way to get stops eventually, uh, especially, you know, scoring opportunities per game. They only give up uh, number 21 in the country, 4.25 per game. Uh, and they're number 70 in points per scoring opportunity. So, is what it is. I do like Duke's offense, though, especially against this Wake Forest defense, because I think Riley Leonard is going to be able to throw the ball uh, however much he wants to on him. Uh, rushing explosiveness, by the way, Duke over the last five weeks, uh, their offense is number two, and Wake Forest defense is number four. 43. So that's something else to pay attention to, maybe. But yeah, I like uh, I like the passing downs PPA for for Duke's offense. Uh, even if they do get behind the chains, they can throw the football. They can get out of those spots. And they're number 26 in passing downs PPA. Wake Forest number 112. So I expect there to be a lot of points here. You know, I know that my projection up there as far as the total is gonna, don't don't pay attention to the, just pay attention to the spread. The spread has been good to us. Um, I think this could get a little pointy. Like this is 66 and a half for the total. Yeah, I don't think either one of these teams can get off the field necessarily. Um, if anybody was going to do it, I would trust Duke, uh, who is number 37 PPA per drive over the past five weeks. Um, but they're doing it up against a, a pretty good offense in Wake Forest, so long as Wake Forest doesn't turn the ball over, which is something to pay attention to here. Duke is number two in the country in turnover margin. They're number 11 in giveaways per game, number seven in takeaways. Wake Forest is number 97 in giveaways per game, number 76 in takeaways. So I think Duke can end up with some short fields. They could take advantage of that. I feel I feel pretty good about Duke being able to get a win, get to win number eight on the season, which is just mind blowing, mind blowing. So give me give me the Blue Devils plus the three and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.